All right, and hearing set to begin on Capitol Hill today into Operation Choke Point. It's a very controversial federal program meant to stamp out fraud, but critics say that it targets businesses that the Obama administration doesn't like by pressuring banks to cut off their accounts. Now, some of the targets include gun stores, tobacco sellers, casinos, pawnbrokers, and short term lenders. Congressman Sean Duffy, who co chairs the subcommittee holding these hearings, saying, quote, our concern is that you have agencies in the Obama administration that are using government as a weapon to go after industries and people that they don't like. This is not the old Soviet Union or Venezuela or Cuba. I think it's an important part for all Americans to stand up and push back on policies that are an abuse of government. Katie, this is a huge story. And five years ago, you could have said, oh, maybe a conspiracy theory, mm -hmm. but there is mounting evidence, and you have been covering this over at Town Hall. There's plenty of evidence, and when you talk to gun dealers about what's happening to them, essentially what happens is, you know, going back to the beginning of Operation Choke Point, it started in 2013 as a partnership between the Justice Department and the FDIC. As you mentioned, they claim that it's to stamp out fraud, right? When really what they do is they get in between the consumer or the client mm -hmm. and the bank and they send officials from the DOJ and from the FDIC to banks like JP Morgan Chase for example and say wow you're sure doing a lot of business with gun dealers they're on our high risk list just mm -hmm. like the child pornography industry mm -hmm. you need to cut off their bank account so what they do then is the bank is under a subpoena or under the intimidation of the federal government and they cut off their bank account now if you're a small business in a small gun dealership or an ammunitions ammunitions mm -hmm. uh, dealership yeah. when the bank comes cuts off your funding your which hand. is your money in a legal business by the way it can completely eliminate your business Wipes within a couple of days. And Joe, I mean, these gun companies, they're protected by the Second Amendment. Right. And so you start to wonder, okay, what happens if the government finds a news outlet they don't like, mm -hmm. a newspaper, where, something where else, it, where or a it, restaurant? It, yeah. You have to stop it before it starts. And you're right. You start, you start questioning what the administration is doing, what the government is doing, and all of a sudden they come in and say, well, this is the beginning of this particular aspect and area that you're involved in. I really feel like that you have to be able to, if you want to go after people with fraud, then go after them. But don't put so much pressure on the banks. They have targeted the banks from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, J.P. Morgan, you know, here, take over this company for us. And then, by the way, we're going to fine you for taking over the company that we asked you to take over. I mean, the banks have been the main target yeah. of, of the government, it seems like, for this administration. And Kennedy, remember Gibson Guitars? Oh, I mean, yeah. they literally kicked down the door yeah, of and, Gibson and Guitars. Yeah, and raided it over uh, the wrong kind of wood. Yeah. But, you know, you have companies that are now forced to do business in cash. What does that do to the economy? And unfortunately, what does that do to crime? The, the FDIC yeah. and the DOJ are doing to business what the Obama administration has done to health care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like maybe they have one problem, one area that they want to target, and they end up decimating an entire system. But, but it is about small business owners. It is about companies that are trying to operate legitimately, and they can't because they're having their bank accounts closed right. for no reason and no explanation. And you've One seen of the questions, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but, but you've seen it in states that have, that have approved marijuana usage. Yes, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. exactly They right. won't allow banks to be able, they won't allow those um, retail outlets to be able to deposit their money in banks. Legal business. Yeah. So now they have right. to hold these tons of cash, yeah, that's which become right. very susceptible, I mean, I would think be Maybe very susceptible to, right. to a problem. Yeah. And, and it keeps it out of the economy. And it does keep it out of the economy. My main question is what about redress? I mean, if you're a company that's been targeted mm -hmm. like this, what can you do for yourself? So I looked into this a little bit. There's something called the Stop the Choke Dot com. There's a sign of petition there. Um, so you're going to need attorneys. You're going to need a mass groups ready to handle some of this. And I also looked up the word choke point. In the military, it means to find your enemy in a place that's vulnerable. Right. It's a bridge or a gulf or a valley. And then while they're vulnerable, you attack them. That's right. a yep. choke point. And should be I don't know if it's an accident. And, that they and this is a problem FBI. with a complex regulatory framework, is they can get you on just about anything and use the law as a pretext to punish you. It is scary stuff, but we're going to stay on it right here on Outnumbered. And